Hello everybody, today we are going to s read, not sing, or listen to, well listen to, Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo. <laughs> this is a book by John Lithgow and it is illustrated by Lisa Hernandez and it's kind of a silly book. So this book, you can see on the cover we've got this elephant, looks like he's trying to steal her is that a viola or is that a cello? Maybe it's a cello. It looks big enough to be one. And you see the other animals are all stealing instruments and the music. <gasps> What's going to happen? Let's find out. You can also see here's the author on the back and some of the other books he's written. So if you like this book, you can go check out John Lithgow's other books if you would like. So, never play music right next to the zoo. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, and dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. I think this is him with his sister and his parents. And I already see animals. Oh my goodness. If you look closely, you can see some animals outside of the zoo. You've got a snake. <gasps> What's this? That's a bush, but I see a birdie by the bush. And some raccoons. And a lion. And some giraffe necks. And it looks like she's got a toy monkey with her. But then I also see animals in line. We've got this and that. Wow. They're supposed to be inside the zoo, not out of it. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet, and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat. <sighs> oh, sorry. Despite all the music and song. Oh, I see some of the animals already. Those raccoons are back. All at once the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. He was angry. Remember, the conductor is the person who tells them when to play. We've got these animals are coming. He's trying to defend it, but they run him over. Oh no, that poor conductor. Oh children, remember whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. Definitely woke the boy up, huh? Do you think you could sleep through all of that ruckus? The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes and bassoons. Here's the bassoon. I see the flute here. Does this man have the trumpet? Yes, he does. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. Do you think it sounds as good from the animals or do you think it was better with the musicians? Hmm. I wonder if the animals have practiced before. <laughs> the monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass. The percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face. A surprisingly musical mammal. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this silly page. This monkey is playing the fiddle, which is another word for violin. Remember, it's just how you play it that makes it a fiddle versus a violin. This camel is playing the percussion. You see the bison with the bass. And this um, 
the yak is playing the sax. <laughs> the bonobo played oboe, the ferret the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Well, here we go. We've got, here's the bonobo monkey playing that oboe. There's the ferret with the flute, the jackal with the bassoon, and there's that hippo with the tuba in the moonlight. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. How would the audience not be running away? I think I would be scared if I were there. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. Since nobody else was scared, he decided he was not scared either. Oh, and here's a picture of the audience watching the animals play. They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. The animals even wore nice clothing like you do at the orchestra. And they're all going home because they're all done. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained at my side. Oh, there they all go, heading out. His parents are off, but he's here with his sister. Looks like the snake is wrapped around his neck. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear. You'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Oh my goodness, was he just dreaming? It was all a dream because he had fallen asleep. <laughs> Imagine waking up and realizing that didn't actually happen. Oh, children, remember whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages and beast, each beast and each bird desperate to play all the music they've heard. <laughs> oh. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. What is it? What's rule number two? Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. The end. I hope you all enjoyed Never Play Music right next to the zoo. Have a great day.